All right, so I want to start this off. And so I had this dream where I was in a three-story high school building filming a set making a murder crime scene on like on like the the indoor stairway it was like this indoor stairway stairway like in the school i guess and like someone someone cracked their neck ne neck in like in like now the school's haunted like with the grudge and i was connected to a dream on a broken elevator so like it was in this high school and there's a stairway in the high school and then right next to the stairway there's a hallway but i guess someone fell down the stairway and broke their neck and that stuff so now they haunt the hallway for some reason like they crawl out of the elevator like the grudge except like on the walls like you know like da -da -da -da, like you know like the exorcist like crawling on the walls like that that stuff like coming out the elevators and that's what i remember in the dream and see, I was connected to another dream, a uh, broken elevator where two girls fell. Yeah, so my bad. So I guess like two girls fell to their deaths and like a wire broke. So like they have to crawl like all over like the ceilings and like that stuff because I guess the elevator fell and that stuff. But the stairway looked like someone threw a trash can at the victim, which they fell back, hitting their head and dying on oh, air mind. So I guess, yeah, so like a trash can was thrown or knocked and they fell and they got, they got hit by a trash can, I don't know. Anyways, cause I guess the evidence there was a trash can. Cause it looks like a murder scene or something like that with like like orange tape and that stuff. And you can see the chalk line or like where the person was and like blood or like that. I don't know why you have blood even though you just cracked your neck. But hey, you might fall, you might have cut yourself while falling. So hey, how do I know? <laughs> how do I know how you died? But uh, I mean, let's see let's see what happens in the dream um the actor turn oh yeah so i guess it's crazy because like i guess like i guess the dead body was still there i guess it's not chalk scene like i think the body's still there it was like or something i don't know if it was covered or anything but uh hold on so someone threw a trash can at the victim which they fell back hitting their head and dying the actor turned the actor turned into a zombie though they said they got bit walking over on a set so i guess it was a set i don't know man it's a dream it keeps changing i guess it, i thought it was a murder scene now it's i guess it's like a like a film on high school and i guess this guy gets bit by a zombie or something like that i don't really remember this dream that much i do remember the guy getting bit you know he had bite mark on his arm like that stuff like from like what do you call it? uh dead island 2 where the guy's jogging and he has that bite on his arm it looked like that Anyways, let's see that actor turned into a zombie though. They said they got bit walking over to set ran outside to the stair steps outside and zombies were coming up So the mirrors edge. Okay, so this part was crazy So like what happens was as soon as the guy turned into a zombie and that stuff in the dead murder scene You know the, that turned out to be a film set I guess like we ended up getting swarmed by a bunch of zombies started coming everywhere from the inside the high school So we have to like, you know, so they're coming upstairs, you know, you know, we're on the second building story And so basically I freak out I run down I run out this exit door and I step on this like Stairway ledge and that stuff and I jump over because there's zombies coming up that stairway ledge too And I remember parkouring it there But then I die there because because I just said, uh, you know, they're, I was, they're just surrounded and I die and I died by falling on like this grass field and I remember getting eaten because it felt like because I had cold sores at the time so it felt like I was getting eaten even though like I was just cold sores but uh yeah that's what it says in the dream it says outside to the stair steps and I parkour like mirror's edge off the ledges but I didn't make it that far but died with the fanny pack chick so I guess there's a fanny pack chick and another Asian and a brunette chick that were having a picnic on on, a, on this field and that's where i died with them i also remember uh so yeah so i guess that's the end of that dream and then i remember i had this senior hockey party and and we won or something like that and, and i hooked up with these three chicks and man i hate real life because i didn't i didn't hook up with three chicks in real life that'd be really cool <laughs> so so anyways that that's one that's the second dream um, let's see. See, I had his dream about this wooden step apartment. So I had this weird, like, this apartment keeps coming back to me in weird dreams. It's like this white painted apartment, but it has white wood around it. Like, you know, like, the roof is wood, and it has, like, some wood planks and that stuff, and the doors are wood. I don't remember if the doors are wood, but like it's covered in white paint. I just remember a wooden stair step. Like it has wooden stair steps. It's a two story building and it's an apartment complex. But that's all I remember in the dream. And then let's see.
So then I had this dream that I was shagging with a couple of hot chicks, and then after that I saw um, uh, like this couple that I used to go to school with, and then I guess I was calling them insulting words and that stuff, and then I called, I don't I just called them really mean things, and this one dude that, that kept calling this mean thing tried to throw me down on the floor, and then I remember, yeah, so he tried to throw me on the floor, and then they walked away getting irritated by me, so, and then I remember, I don't know why I was being mean, I don't know why in the dream, and then I remember right after... There was this black chick or something like that that came up to me and said that we shagged before and I suck at it and I said, well, okay, and like, want to try again? Like, you know, like, and maybe you can tell me, like, what to do. And she was all like, nah, you're too passionate and, like, you suck. You suck at it. Plus, I already found another man. And I was like, okay, later, bitch. But I, like, walked away and I was so fucking hurt in my dream. Dude, I was so hurt in that dream. Like, like when I woke up and that stuff, I was like, wow, that really hurt, even though it was just a dream. But, you know, it's like whatever and that stuff. That was a long time ago. Shoot, that was like almost a year ago since I recorded that one. But that's a good old one. Um, this is a funny story. I'm going to tell the story that's a real life story. So there's this dude that was high on meth one time. And he thought he was in Colorado. But actually he was at a gas station. And it was funnier than crap because... Because, like, he was asking people, like, at this gas station, he was asking people if he can get a ride back to, like, this other state and that stuff. And it turns out he was already at that state, even though he's asking people he needs to get to that state because he thought he, because he was so high off of, like, drugs. He thought that he was at another state, and it's funny, like, you know, and, like, a cop out of town, like, you know, go away, like, shoo, man, you're, you're, you're scaring people. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, that's, 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 so that's one true story, but back to the dreams. So I had this dream where I was at a bowling alley parking lot and I bought like five sticky balls like you know one of those old sticky balls in those quarter machines and like they're like sticky balls and sticky hands and like I ended up pissing some policemen off and that stuff because I kept hitting people with them and I kept breaking windows and like these are like strong sticky stuff I don't know how they're strong and you know, they're breaking stuff but apparently I can break things with them I'm like holy crap and they're just cheap toys like only 25 cents so I'm like hey man this is a great freaking deal get battle hack battle action stuff man like combat combat weapons anyways a lady cop tried to tell tell and get me into her car into her police car which i tried to run and as i tried to run it actually felt i don't know what happened but it felt like i actually got tased i got tased where did i feel like i got tased one in my back and then i got tased like with one taser on my front of my neck so i guess just two taser things needles and one hit my back and one hit my stomach or not my stomach my neck back and neck anyways i called the cop i called the cop a female you know the b word and which the male cop her partner in crime you know ended up punching me in the face and started punched me in the face and told me to shut up and then basically i started swinging my hands and I, while i was sleeping you know i was actually swinging my hands in like the actual dream and well in real life because you know my dream pissed me off so bad i ended up hitting like some like bar like you know like the wall and it just hurt my hand i was like frick man you know so i kept jacking myself up even in my my sleep so there's that um yeah so like so like basically i was sleeping in a in a bed that that was a bunk bed and it had a ladder in the meantime it was a metal bed so i hit the ladder and that stuff and it really hurt my hand so i guess that's that's what i hit and it really hurt <laughs> i said it fucking hurt bad all right, and then I had this dream. I was at a friend's house, and they put up these bubble decorations. So it was like these green and like like purple like bubbles. Like it was like strings, but it had bubbles on them, and they and like it formed bubbles. And if you stand in these curtains or like that stuff, you fly like you float up somehow. I don't know how, but you float up in the air. And it's crazy because it's added like this house. It was like that Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, like with the so the drinking soda that the float where you float but instead you like say you just touch these bubble ribbon these bubble like what do you call it, curtains and that stuff and you end up flying it's pretty cool i thought it was a cool dream then i had this dream that my grandfather okay no this wasn't a dream well this was this was a dream but this is what happened in my dream my grandfather said that he's good at everything that he used to be good at everything like then like keeping his com keeping his composure and that's and like he said that on like then like keeping his composure i said that's cool i'm good at hating on <laughs> i say the n-words wow 
So he's like, he's like, I'm good at keeping my composure, and I'm all like, yeah, and I'm good at hating. Wow, and I say, I say a very ignorant word. <laughs> That's bad. Anyways, I had this other dream where, let's see, Dad said he, Dad, Dad's dad. Yeah, so I guess my grandfather said that he found a dead body once, and it and it it was like decayed. He found a dead body once, a decayed after a murder grandpa locked up so i guess my grandfather locked up a serial killer and that stuff and he ended up locking this guy like into this like one room this like solitary room where he couldn't escape and that stuff i don't know if the guy escaped but this is what it says he's though it was crazy we saw the dead body it was old and rotten dude dude with a bashed head with a with the metal pipe while he's sitting on the toilet seat. So I guess he got his head bashed in, you know, with a metal pipe while he was sitting on the shitter. And I guess that's pretty much how he died. And I guess my grandfather locked him up in that room and to never be found until, until me and my dad stumbled upon it. So there's that sketchy dream. I guess my grandfather killed the, killed the kill, serial killer. So holy crap, my grandfather's fucking beast in my dream. Anyways, I had to stay... I had this other dream where I had to stay at this dr sex drug lord house because I'm homeless and they wanted to kill me. I don't know why they wanted to kill me. Anyways, in this dream, I guess I had I, I had to get my hockey bag and that stuff, and and I guess like these like thugs and that stuff were mad at me and they didn't want me to go inside. You know, they were like, "We're gonna kick your ass and that shit." I'm like, "I just need my hockey bag and sticks, man." But it was cool is that like I guess like the 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 boss the lady boss of like the place she was cool with me like going there so I just grabbed my sticks and that stuff and I left and that stuff and it was cool because I ended up going to like this like this like hockey game and ended up being with like this semi pro team and I was like holy crap I'm actually good for once <laughs> but as you can see that's just the dream um I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and then I had this dream where my dog kept pissing me off because she kept running out the house and that stuff. I'm like, stop doing this. And then I kept like trying to chase her and like that stuff to grab her. But like I tried to grab her collar and her collar came off and shit. So I was even pissed because I had to travel further to get her and that stuff. And like, you know, because it's, you know, she's a fucking dog. So, she, you know, she runs fucking fast. So I'm like, how the fuck do I catch this fucking bitch? And then anyways, I ended up, I ended up finding another dog that looks like her and I ended up trying to catch that dog. And then I ended up trying to catch that dog and that dog ended up biting me. So I got pissed. I ended up punching that dog in the face. But really, I'm just punching the wall. Yeah, yeah. Dreams, man. They're, they're, they're a trip, man. Like, they make you do things that you'd be surprised. Well, that's pretty much the end of those dreams. Uh, until next time. Peace.